Hey, my name is Justin Rice, Aerial Sales Manager with E1. We're going to take a little bit of time here to teach you guys about the Advanced Aerial Control System Deluxe. It's an aerial option for us. This is our top of the line system and it's very, very detailed. So I want to take this little video here to show you folks how this system operates. So when you get up from setting the jacks on this truck and the jacks are fully deployed and interlocks achieved, you come up to this touch, all the, every, this information here. The operator, all they have to do is press controller power and they're ready to fly. Depending upon the operator, some may want to adjust how the ladder operates. There is a user selectable ramp button here. It's indicated it says ramp plus and minus. More ramping is smoother. Minus ramping is a little bit more aggressive of a ladder. So the operator can choose how they want the ladder to feel and the it shows the level of ramping based upon the LED on the keypad. If they're in a precarious spot and they need to use creep speed, they can press creep speed. The high idle shuts off and immediately goes to a lower speed function. Ladder lights, panel lights are also set on here. Emergency pump, high idle. It comes on automatic, but it's here as well. This unit we're doing a test on is has tip controls. So if your system has tip controls, this would be your tip control button. Your monitor keypad's over here. This controls your monitor. You can see on the stow here that the LEDs are lit up if the monitor's stowed. As soon as the monitor is deployed, the lights will light up here. So the operator always knows if the monitor's stowed or deployed. Also, the cradle line and rung alignment lights are visible and the intercom system as well. Three joysticks. We have an option for two sticks if you were interested in that. Most commonly is three stick and then also an emergency stop button if anything needs to stop on the aerial. Coming up to the screen here, the Advanced Aerial Control System Deluxe is going to give you a ton of information quickly. It's live time 100%, so with this ladder being a 500 pound tip load ladder, tip load is just at full extension at zero degrees. So that tip load can be different based upon certain elevations and extensions. So on this home screen here, you can see we have a bigger tip load indicated by the firemen personnel on here. And each one of those is 250 pounds. Rungs align, cradle align. We have our automatic cradle align indicator. That will shut off if you're out of the parameters for it. You have your extension percentage, elevation angle and rotation, as well as your reach, height, and tip temperature. Going in here into the uh, tip load screen, it tells you what you're allowed to have tip load and distributed load. Currently, this ladder is in the cradle, fully retracted, so we have a full um, height distributed load. Again, on this screen, it breaks down extension percentage, temperature, rungs align, and all this will change by feet increments on extension. Waterway screens, we have your total water, water flow, waterway pressure, total supply for the flow. You can also tell if the truck's equipped with a pump, whether the pump's in gear, okay to pump, and again, some more mission critical information like your temperature, your extension, tip capacity, and if you have to reset your total flow, you can. Here on the hydraulic screen information, we're able to read our oil level, PSI, temperature, in a gauge format or just a digital format. We also have the ambient air temperature. With the Advanced Aero Controls Deluxe, there is two temperature sensors, one here at the control console, other at the ladder tip. So you're able to see the delta between the two temperatures. Another cool thing is you have the ability to turn off the PTO. So for long periods of time, if you're flowing water, you can disengage the PTO simply by holding that button until that green aerial PTO status light goes to the off position. Next, on the engine screen, we're able to see engine oil pressure, RPMs, engine oil temperature, um, engine temperature in general, voltage, fuel, and transmission temp. Really cool thing is you're able to kill the engine here by holding these two buttons here. Hold them down for a few seconds. The engine shuts off and now the engine's done. Coming over here to the grade and slope screen, you're able to see your jack legs. Each jack leg is out and down, indicated by the green check. If you didn't have a jack leg down, it would tell you with a red X. Interlock means that we have all four jacks on the ground firmly and we're able to achieve our interlock and ladder control. If you get up on top of the turntable and it doesn't work and it says jack control, it's because the operator didn't switch it from ladder to jacks. For our fleet guys, we have a wrench icon. We have full fleet diagnostic in here. So we have a full diagnostic list of all of the buttons and sensors and levels and the operator is able to come through here and um, fix the system if anything happens. So going back to here, we're all done with the engine off. 
So it's done flashing on us when you have two red lights. You press both two buttons together. Engine fires up. Go over to your ladder screen. Turn your aerial PTO back on by holding it for the same amount of time. And you're ready to fly. That's it for our advanced aerial control system deluxe walk around video. We just wanted to show you all the features. There's a ton of information in this system. Really beneficial on the fire grounds and for maintenance aspects of the truck. If you have any questions on this, please reach out to any of your E1 dealers and we'll be glad to serve you. Thank you.